Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This will be a 9 part complete project tutorial series showing you how to create JJJ house. Let's get started. So to start, let's open a new architecture template. So go to new, go to drop down and click on architecture template and press OK. So let's add grid lines first. So go to architecture and click on grid or you can type in GR. And then here we could add in our first vertical grid. So I'm just going to add it like this. Make sure it's 90 degrees and then press escape and then escape again. You can now select it and if you want to um, put another grid bubble here, you just need to uncheck this or uncheck it depending on your preference. So now I'm going to select this and then I'm going to click copy or CO. Once you do, make sure you check multiple. And then now grab it again. So click on that and type in 3500. After that, type it again 6500. Press escape and then escape again. Click on grid line again. And now we're going to add our uh, horizontal grid line. So now we're going to add it at the top first. But we need to press escape and escape again. Zoom in and click on the bubble. We're going to change this to a letter. So A, press enter and then escape again and then escape. Click on the horizontal grid A. And then click on copy or CO for short and then grab it again. So click it. And now we're going to add in 4,500. And then 5,500. Press escape and then escape again. Now we just need to center everything. So select everything and you could grab it and you could center it on the elevation um, arrows. We need to click it again so that we could um, extend or descend this uh, lines. So now I'm going to clean it up a little bit. I'm going to extend this. And I'm going to pull this out. Press escape. And now I would like to click on dimensions. But I want to show not only the millimeters but the fractional inches. So I'm going to edit type. Go down. And click on alternative units. I'm going to put it below and I'm going to change the alternative units from millimeter to feet and fractional inches. And then you just need to press OK and then OK. And you can now add your dimensions. I like adding it on the grid lines and then I'm going to put overall. So as you can see, we have our dimensions like that. We can now press escape and then escape again to finish the command. After this, let's go to an elevation. I'm going to choose south elevation. And then here, we're going to change the level. So we're going to add the level and we're going to change the level from level 1 to level 2 to 3200. 
and then we could select level two and then click on copy we're going to copy this and then we could type in 3200 again so we will have a two-story design here house design so press escape and then escape and as you can see the grid bubble is under the level three we want to pull it up a little bit so i'm going to select that and then just drag it up press escape and then escape again so now everything is clean uh, let's go to level one and we can start um, adding wall so i'm gonna click wall so it's under architecture and then click wall and then here we could use basic wall generic 200 millimeters i'm gonna edit this type and then i'm gonna duplicate this will be my exterior wall number one press ok edit type i'm gonna leave 200 for the thickness and the materials i'm gonna change it to white So I'm going to choose clad white, press OK, and then OK again, and then OK, lastly. So here, I'm going to start using line, and from C1 up to A1. Now, from A1, but before that, I made a mistake of not setting my height so I'm gonna press escape and I'm, I'll make sure that level 1 to level 2 and then now so I'm gonna fix this later on because this one is 800 that's the default for um, Revit so now I'm gonna set this from A1 to A3 and then from A3 going down to a uh, c3 but i'm gonna extend it so i'm gonna click it on c3 but i'm going to extend it a little bit around 1000 going down and then now i'm going to go and add 3000 and then here I'm gonna go back 1000 and here around 1500 go back again this will be around 2000 And then here, I'm going to close it off. So it will be on grid line number two. And then here, I'm just going to follow from B2 and then B1. Press escape and then escape. So now, Let's press escape and then click on ball again. But this time, we will need to create an interior wall. So we're going to edit this type, duplicate. This will be interior wall. Wall number one. Press OK. And we're going to maintain 200 and clad white. Press OK and then OK again. And click on wall. And then here, we're going to add in a wall like so. So around 4,000 is enough. We might extend that later on. And give it a, around 1,500 for the wing wall. Here, we're going to extend this. So I'm going to zoom in. As you can see, this is in a uh, wall center line. So I'm just going to close this off. 
like that. So now we have something right here. And then next thing we're going to do is we're going to click on wall again. And we're going to add it a wall right here around 800 from this wall. Or let's make it 1000 from this wall. And then here we added a wall like so. Press escape and then escape again. So this one, we might need to uh, move this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press AL, align. I'm going to align it to this wall. So I'm going to select this wall and then select this wall. So now this will be aligned. So we will check later on. So what I'm planning to do is, this is um, the kitchen area with an island, uh, dining room and some furniture here, seating furniture. We'll have our living area here and this will be our stairs. And then this will be our powder room and the main entrance and this will be the carport. So now let's start adding some doors. I'm going to click the door and we're just going to use the default door for now. And then let, later on, let's add in um, a better door. So here I'm just selecting uh, 762 by 2032 millimeters. And here I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to add it on this wall. And with oriented like this. Then this will be the main entrance. I'm going to click space bar so that it will change orientation. This one we might uh, extend it a little bit. So now we can actually extend it now. And obviously I forgot about this. So now I'm going to make sure to up to level 2 only. So now if we check 3D, everything is leveled up to level 2. Here, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of this wall and I'm going to move it using my arrow key. And as you can see, it's easy to change um, the dimension using Revit. I want to extend this so that uh, I have uh, enough um, room for the couches here. And then now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to align it again right here. So AL. So now this will be, let's add in some dimensions. So from the middle to the middle of here, so around 49, 4,900, this will be same. Make sure this one is 30, 34 point. So those are the dimensions. This one, you extend it uh, 1,000. This now is, like I said, 3420. And then now this is um, same thing, 1500. And then now let's insert um, the toilet. So load and then go to plumbing, architecture, fixtures. And then now Let's look for it. So here I'm going to use this. And then once you load it, go to architecture and then component. Now we could just zoom in and add it on this wall. It's a wall base. And then let's load family again. Let's look for, so go back to fixtures and then let's look for sync. 
and then we could add in some vanity so let's add this and then now we could just add it like so and then we could just move it okay so we have our vanity right there so next thing is we're going to add in some uh, furniture so go to insert again load family and then go back to the main and look for furniture click open and then open and then now let's add in some seating first i usually like kerbu and then the sofa as well so hold on um, control button so that we could just add two of them let's just uh, press open and then go back to architecture and click place component and then here we could add in our sofa so i'm gonna add it like that and then i'm gonna add it like this and then here we could add um, add in the chair. So we just need to look for it. So it's right here. Press escape and then escape again. So let's uh, finish here for now and continue on the next video. Thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.